So it's been a while since I posted anything Borderlands related but Tiny Tina's isn't far away. Details are arriving way more often and we can actually now start planning ahead for when this game drops. Today we saw a brand new trailer which showcased two new classes and although I'll bring you a video in the next few days detailing every character, this trailer also confirms a few more very exciting things. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also guys excuse my voice, I mean I'm suffering with a cold and it's killing me to even breathe so I excuse that. Okay so the trailer if you haven't seen it, it's playing in the background now. A straightforward one introducing two new characters. So firstly, the two new characters are Graveborn and the Spore Warden. Now I won't lie, having seen the other classes, I have been ifing and ahhing about what class I should start this game with. But actually, after seeing these two new ones, I think I'm definitely going to go with Graveborn. He looks epic. So a few further details on these classes before we talk about a few other new details. Mainly multi-classes, which is very exciting indeed. So firstly, Graveborn. Graveborn's source of power is their health. While they are capable of dishing out heavy punishment with dark magic and a demi-lich companion, they must sacrifice their own health to do this. The demi-lich can cast spells of its own giving the Graveborn a little help against large hordes of enemies. Graveborns also have unique skills in their skill tree, including a kill skill that summons a variety of minions to take on foes and action skills that brutally sacrifice foes. Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. The Sport Warden also has an assistant, the Mushroom Companion, who can spray toxins that target enemies. Spore Wardens themselves can call on nature to assist them, drawing up chaotic events like tornadoes and arrow barges to slow down enemies. They also can buff their allies through certain skills and keep enemies at bay with disabling attacks. They're best played at a distance like a sort of plant-based sniper. Now credit to Digital Trends and the info for these new classes, they are linked below. So these are two seriously unique classes. But we also see a ton of things going on within this trailer and one thing we have noticed is the mention of multi-classes. What this actually means is guys, this means we will have the ability to combine two classes with their traits and abilities. So we can more or less create hybrid classes and have access to more abilities, traits and so much more. How cool does that sound? And with this game having six classes, there are so many possibilities here. Now we know this isn't something from the start as you firstly have to choose one main class but as you start to play you will be able to pick a secondary class. This opens up a crazy amount of combo possibilities and with it two companions can also be used. Did I mention that if you multi-class you can have double pets? It's true! Now if you weren't excited for this game before you should definitely be now. Another thing I've spotted looking through this trailer of goodness is the fact it does indeed seem rainbow loot or effervescent loot is back for Borderlands 2. I mean this rarity loot skipped Borderlands 3 entirely and although it wasn't a major issue some fans just thought it was something that should have been added. Well guys it does look as though that rainbow loot rarity is back and is in Tiny Tina's judging by the images you can see on screen now from these loot drops. Pretty epic. So yeah guys, if you are interested in more details on this game, I have a few videos coming you won't want to miss, so stay tuned for those. Now this trailer does contain a whole heap of convo starters, so get chatting below. Wonderlands is a game I cannot wait for, and if you followed me during my time covering BR3, you know I will bring you some of the best guys and videos on YouTube, so stay tuned for those. But on that note guys, I'm about to go take a locket and chill. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.